extraction point is room 201. Destination? Downtown. Target description. It's room 201. That's it? Do you need an invitation? Are you serious? What? How are we going to hear him next door if you have the TV on? You never think about things, do you? Well, I think about things. Yeah? Yeah. Like what? Like... Hmm? How do you know it was a him? What? Uh-huh. Yeah, how do you know it's a him? He said target was 201. How do you know it's a him, not a her? Hey, it's... Yeah, of course, yeah, the, uh, we're in room 202. Yeah, of course the TV is off. Yeah, that, everybody knows that. Uh, listen, so is the target, is it a man or a woman? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Uh-huh. No, I know. I, yeah, I just, I didn't want to assume that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never specified, so... <laughs> yeah, that's great. What'd he say? He hung up. Is that him? Yep. He's walking next door. What'd he look like? What do you mean, what does he look like? He looks like a man. Caucasian, African-American, Hispanic, Asian. What? Does it matter? It matters. I'm curious who I'm working with. Cu who you're working? He, look, he looks like a, like a white guy, okay? Caucasian. Hmm. Yeah, and he looks like a Jew, too, if you want to get specific. Whoa, it's Jewish. Jewish, okay? There's a difference. Oh, gotcha. So when I put a bullet in this Shylock's forehead, I'll be sure to say Mazel Tov. No, but, no, Mazel Tov is for weddings. What, no, listen, I'm just saying you could be a little bit more considerate. Look, I am. <sighs> what about him looks Jewish? What? <sighs> He looks like a Jew to me. What can I say? Uh, Jewish. Jewish. Uh, hey, hey, would you keep it down? I'm trying to have a conversation. Okay? Jew, Jewish, what is the difference? It's the same word with a three letter difference. What is the big? It's not like I'm calling him a, a black. Whoa, uh, hey, whoa, you didn't know. Come on. No, man. no, don't, no, don't, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do this to don't, me. Don't, don't do, do, do this do, to me, me, okay? I voted for Obama. Okay? I'm good with the blacks. The blacks uh, 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 why? What is so goddamn you important? You can't say the blacks. <laughs> Thank you. Fine. The African Americans, okay? No, that's not, you don't say it like that. Like what? You can say black people. In fact, what you should say is African American people. Amen. That's what I but you, can't, you can't say the black people or the African American people. You know, that assumes an exclusivity, you know, that's sometimes negative. High five. It's the same with Jew and Jewish. Jew is a racial distinction, whereas Jewish is a religion. So I can distinguish religion, just not race. I can't, this is the way you're saying. Right. What he said. Okay, okay, that's great. That's great. So you, you're, you're okay with it, you agree with him? Yeah, I'm good. I, I think we're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if I said that the man that we have to kill is a Jewish man, not a Jew, then you'd be, you'd be okay with that. Yeah, be, that's good, yeah. You're, you're good. I'd be okay with that. 
Yeah, I'm not Jewish. Except he's not Jewish. See? Well, don't worry about it, buddy. Because we're gonna shoot your Jew ass anyway. Okay. We're equal opportunity like that. It's Jewish. Jewish! Are you, again, with, I can't. Okay, let me get this straight. You're Hispanic. Yeah. Can I call you a spick? No. No, but, that's not at all what I was saying. You completely missed the point of what I was telling you. And why? I, I don't I don't follow your logic oh. at all. Shut the fuck. Hey. This guy will stop making fucking noise. Man. Hey, come on. He's scared. Have you been in a trunk? It's dark. We're going to end his life in about two minutes, and you're worried about if he's scared? What, do you want some pillows? You want to put some pillows back there next time? Give him a little back rub. You know what? Be nice. So I'm not having this conversation with you right now. Can we just do this? Get out. You guys are what, what? We're gonna do this? We aren't doing anything. We're gonna kill you. Get out. Let's go. You need a hand. So. Wait. What did you mean by that? By what? Are we going to kill him or aren't we? You used the same pronoun twice. I... I meant that we, as in the three of us, aren't going to do anything, but we, as in you and I, are going to kill him. I thought that was clear. Okay, fine. With, with the finger pointing, that's, that made sense. I'm just saying, using the same pronoun in the same sentence twice is a bit confusing, especially for my friend over here. He's it's not your big, friend! Are we, are we doing this? We're, we're doing this? Really? really? Exactly. Well, Thank you. Well, you know what, to be fair, your friend was right. I was a bit confused. See? You were confused. Yeah. What's confusing about the situation? You were in the trunk of a car, we have guns, now we're on these railroad tracks. What do you think is gonna happen here, a picnic? I'm not talking about inferences. Inferences? This yeah, in I mean, I can infer from those circumstances what will happen, but I can't determine from your double pronoun usage what is going to happen. Jesus Christ, just get that on the ground. Get that on the ground right now. He's right, okay? You gotta be clear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next thing you're gonna start talking about the blacks and the Jews again. Oh God! Blacks and Jews! Blacks and Jews! You, you can't say that. Listen, don't you tell me how to say what I want to say, okay? If I want to say blacks and Jews, I will say the blacks and the Jews! Shit. Well, that's done. Texting the boss. Shit. What? What did the boss say? We got the wrong guy. What? He says he's Oriental. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seconds to air. Thirty seconds to air. Is that marijuana? Can I get another lighter? Thank you very much. Is what? Relax. It's legal almost everywhere. You can't do the news high. I can't do it. Why? Why? You don't ever do the news drunk. 
Okay. You don't do them as drunk no. either. You are and a square. So I think we're gonna say you also never drive drunk. No. <laughs> this girl is rich. Oh, wow. I knew it. I knew when I met you that you were okay. not gonna be easy to get along with. We got an eternity. We have seven huh? seconds. I can hit it twice more. Watch. Do your warm ups wherever you do. In five, four, three, two, one. Good evening. I'm Rob Richards. And I'm Sarah Saunders. Tonight's breaking news a prostitute named Brittany Cummings alleges that Mayor Carmichael paid her for sex. This comes at an especially troubling time for the mayor, considering, of course, he's running for re-election in the fall. Tonight, we bring you face-to-face -face with Brittany in an exclusive one-to-one -one interview. In our face-to-face -face segment, one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna cut the interview up, so you don't need to worry. Oh, okay. It's not all gonna be on there. Oh, okay, we great. Even, we could even make out right now. No, it, we, would, we wouldn't use it, I would just send you. We wouldn't need to, but no, I get but where you're going. we would not. We wouldn't have to We wouldn't to have to, no, everything's optional in life, you know, free mm -hmm. country. Ever since Harriet Tubman did good works for yeah. our black brothers and sisters. Yeah, freedom of speech. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I wanna fuck you so bad. Cocaine. Okay. Cocaine? Oh, we're recording? <laughs> oh. Absolutely. Uh, Brittany, I'd like to thank you for being here on the show. Thank you for having me. Brittany, sex with Mayor Carmichael. Tell me about it. Before we get into that, I just wanna let all my fans know that they can follow me on Twitter at Britney's Politics, where we will be discussing my thoughts on politics and such. Why come forward now, Brittany? Because I'm in a privileged position. You know, I have all the necessary information. I'll be telling all of those details on my blog. I mean, you've been busy. I have been very busy. I am in the talks for a reality show, and I have a tell-all memoir that is coming to the bookstores at the end of the month. When did you start having sex with them? Well, I'll be tweeting all those details to all my fans. I bet all your fans would love to hear those details now. Okay, follow me on Twitter, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I know his favorite food. Sorry? It's pickles. Huh? His favorite food. His favorite food is pickles. Yep. Oh, that's a hot, it's a hot breaking news item we've got right there. Brittany, have you seen the mayor more than once? I see him all the time. Oh. Mm -hmm. You see him all the time? He's on TV. Okay, that's clearly not what I meant with that question. Well, I'd like to thank you for being here, Brittany. Uh, you've been a great guest. Thank you. Hashtag Brittany's politics. Yeah, you should hashtag with that because she's really great. She's really great. Well, let's do that again. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Positive energy. Yeah, but don't seem too eager. But not too complacent. Right. Hi, I'm Anna Smith. And I'm Dave Smith. And we are so excited about this opportunity to adopt a child. It has been a dream of ours to have a family and have children. Were you supposed to say something next? No, you were supposed to say why we want children. I thought that you were going to explain why we would make good parents. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just start over, check the script, okay? Good idea. When is she coming? I think 1.30. Let me see what you're wearing. Nice. Gun-toting Republican. Huh. Silicon Valley eats quinoa, drives a hybrid, masculinity of a koala bear. Rockstar dad. Liberal. Definitely well hung. Oh, very slutty. Willing to suck the aluminum off a doorknob. Great if she's a lesbian. Hippie, unshaved armpits. You definitely meditate and practice yoga. Practical, uptight, has secret rape fantasies while shopping for clogs. Good. I think we have all of our bases covered.
hipster. Damn. Really, what is that? If she puts on a pair of ironically colored sunglasses, I'm gonna break her fucking legs. Fuck it. We'll play it safe. Welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Thank you. Can we get you anything to drink? Some white wine, perhaps? I uh, don't usually drink this early in the day. Oh, neither do we. <laughs> Dave's a comedian. <laughs> Always telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, can you help me in the kitchen? Sure. We made some tasty treats. She's not Asian, so definitely not the pot stickers. Uh, would you like something to eat? Where are you from? Uh, Brooklyn. Bagels. Wait for it. But where are you from from? My parents are German and English, Anna's are French. Um, uh, my father's from Israel and my mother is from Atlanta. Question. Jewish. Black. Bluish. Here we go. Some options I'm sure you'll like. Oh, bagels and lox are my favorite. Can I make you a plate? I'm fine. Now to some questions. We insist. I'm a vegan. That's, That's okay. okay. I know. First question. Yes. That's why we're here. Yes. Why do you want to adopt a child? Oh, well, we have talked about having children and starting a family for a very long time. Heaven knows we've tried, but the good Lord just hasn't blessed us with a child yet. Um, so you are religious? Yes. No. We're spiritual. Don't say spiritual. You sound like a fucking loser. It's a gay word. Do you plan on raising your child in the church? We are open to any and all faiths. Even a Muslim. What would you say the most important part of being a parent is? Unconditional love, mm -hmm. even for a special needs child. Oh God. Not that we want a special needs child. Not that every child doesn't deserve a home. We just aren't specifically applying to get a special needs child. What she's trying to say is that education is really important mm. to us. Yeah. We're both educated, both went to Ivy League schools. Well, you went to Amherst. It's a little Ivy. It's not one of the real Ivies. Anyway, uh, we've already been checking out the top preschools in the area. Private school then. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Public schools in this area have really attractive qualities as well. They're almost like private schools with the right people. <laughs> we want our child to have the best education possible. It is so hard to make it in this world with a subpar education. <laughs> I went to public school and I am a social worker. Right, and that worked out fine for you. Just fine. We want our child to have diversity. We, we would love our child to go to school with people like you. People like your children. I don't have any children. Oh, well, you'll meet the right man one day. My wife and I have decided not to have kids. Great. Um, would you mind if I used your restroom? Sure, it's the down the hall, second door to the left.
The Smiths are articulate, educated, financially stable, intelligent individuals. However, the atmosphere is unquestionably judgmental. I feel as though they are plotting their answers and are rehearsed, cold, calculating, not nurturing, possibly racist, definitely elitist. May I have my notes, please? I think it's time for me to leave. We don't think that you have a, a good impression of us. We need more time together to explain our positions. Quite clear. Thank you. Wait a second. Excuse me. We are not trying to trap you, okay? We are just trying to explain ourselves. We are good people. I'm sorry, this, this is getting very, very uncomfortable. We just want to mold a child in our own vision. Please step away. I know we come off as eager. Motivated, really. No, yes. would you please just let me leave? Let's start over. Fresh start. Oh my god. You're both horrible people. We are not horrible people. Definitely not horrible people. We are loving people. You're both fucking crazy. Dedicated. Delusional. Forward thinking. Horrible. Horrible people. A child would implode under these circumstances, and there is no way that I will ever, as long as I live, give you a child. This is not a nurturing environment. This is a nurturing environment! I think what would make our home special is we're really good listeners. I think we would do our best to listen to our child's opinions even if we didn't agree with them. <laughs> Hi there. I think we got off on the wrong foot. We just really want to start a family, so we might have come off a little overeager. I think we were too eager, hon. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> So I think what we can do is slightly alter your letter of recommendation here. We just uh, tweaked it a little bit for you mm -hmm. and we painted ourselves in a more accurate portrait. You see there? Motivated. Team spirit. Go-getters. Excited. And those are the words that more accurately describe us. So. We are gonna pop this letter of review in your little envelope there and then we are gonna drop it in the mail and then we are all good. Thank you so much for all your help with this. Hi there, sweetie. She's just so perfect. She's just so cute. I have the photographer coming at three to take pictures for the pre-preschool application. She's gonna be the best student. We did it. We really did it. We deserve this. Mm, she's gonna be just like us. Exactly like us. She's gonna be perfect. Oh. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. We're gonna have you forever and ever. Good morning. How you doing, Charlie? Good to see you. Thank you all for coming out. I would like to address the uh, ridiculous allegations made against me. I want the voters to know that I am a victim of a woman who desires fame, a victim of a news media that sensationalizes any and all allegations. With God's help and prayer, my family and I will be able to get through this. Thank you.
Tonight, we're joined by a special guest, Mayor Jimmy Carmichael, who's here to respond to the allegations recently placed against him by a known sex worker, Mayor Carmichael. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's just jump right in. Brittany Cummings, any truth to the allegations? No. Have you ever met her? I am the victim of a witch hunt, a woman hell-bent on fame, and a media circus just hungry for gossip. <laughs> Mayor Carmichael. <laughs> In today's society, a, a man's career is ruined as soon as he is accused of rape. Shouldn't a man's career be ruined if he rapes a woman? Well, that's just it. Many times, if not most, the man is innocent. A rape, sex, fantasy game gone wrong. What? Maybe they called out the wrong safe word. Uh, people read headlines, never the entire story. Many times, the man is the victim. He's the one being raped. Many victims of rape lack the physical evidence required to garner a conviction. Sarah, I'm sure you'll agree, if a woman doesn't have proof, she should not make accusations. Mr. Mayor, I think we've gotten a little off topic. Brittany Cummings. I've never met her. Her story. Complete fabrication. Well, there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. Mayor Jimmy Carmichael has never met Brittany Cummings. So how's work? It works good. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Good to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the most action that you've gotten in a while. It's been how long? It's been a month. A month? Yeah. It's been longer than that. For sure. Maybe. For sure. <laughs> it's been like a fucking. Are you a virgin? <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Right, because you're so slut. You're so slutty. Your slut vibe actually deflowers me by sitting on the couch. Say it like it's a fucking bad thing. It's like the sex just like comes off of you, and you're just like, like, oh, like sex. I'm getting like fucked by your <laughs> sex vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how the ladies treating you? Oh, treating me fine. That's good. Yeah. When was your last, uh... Ooh. <laughs> that has been a while. I know, you should try online dating. <laughs> Aren't you serious? Serious is serious. I get a date or two a week. That's serious. Try it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm never going to do online dating. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Why'd you try online dating? Because that's like what losers do. What? I am not doing yes. online dating. You need it. No. Uh -uh. Why? Why yeah. am I going to put myself out there like that and be like, hey, it come takes, date me? It takes the workout. It's shopping for dicks. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> online dating. I'm weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't even believe I'm here. You are so wrong for me. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a bore. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're a surfer. <laughs> You drink wine coolers. <laughs> you smoke marijuana. You just called it marijuana. It's called pot, you loser. <laughs> Hopefully my co-workers could see me now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just said co-workers. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you want to go back to my place and fuck? <laughs> so, your rendezvous last night? If I was to summarize it, I would say... Best... Date... Ever. I mean, who would have known? Fucking online dating? Amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was out of control. I think I might be proud. It, it sounded... scary. Good, actually. I really went out of my comfort zone, didn't I? I think you did. Who would have thought, you know? Like some khaki wearing... Marijuana smoking... Republican... Surfer girl hippie. I haven't been fucked like that in so long. I wanted to be in the room watching, taking notes. Did you say hippie? It was like somebody just like bent me over and was like... Just doing just, me dirty. Just doing like an animal. I do know under the sheets it was hot. 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 Degree wise, how hot? Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit. 104. Not Celsius. 67. That's correct. It was like I saw and sang the Star Spangled Banner all up in my shit, and it was like, what? Amazing. It was so good. Fuck. Will you see her again? Definitely. Oh, definitely. All of them. All of them? All of them. Think your banana Republican knows it's your birthday? He totally does. No, I wrote it on his calendar. That's not even his He wrote anything. it on. He has a. What? Oh my god, he, to he totally knows it's my oh. birthday. He said, what? What the <laughs> shit was that? <laughs> what do you think he's gonna get you? I don't know. He said it was big. Huge big. Ooh, it's something big, huh? What if it's a new board? Hey, birthday hey. girl. <laughs> Hold on one second. It's quite large. A hamper. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, babe. Good work. That was super. And the restraint, <laughs> right? Mm. Makes you want it more. Yeah. God, do I want it? Hey, I noticed today that your hamper was full. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's empty. Yeah. It's empty because I know when it's full, it's time to do the laundry. <laughs> Clever. You know, I uh, <clears throat> actually really hate doing laundry, so I was just kind of thinking that maybe I would, you know, let all my laundry get dirty and leave the extra dirty stuff on the floor and... You, you just decided that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, I actually drank half a beer last night, and I uh, left it in the fridge. I figured it would be, you know, kind of a pain to go buy just a bottle of Mike 6. 
That you did. Actually, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna head out to the garage, so. Just don't forget our mommy daddy time later. Mmm, that's right. Restraint. Yes, restraint. You know what? I actually read about this new thing in women's fitness where you don't have to do anything at all. Why don't you enjoy the ice cream? You want to help. It's so funny, you've never wanted to help before. Well, I wanted to see what you love so much. <laughs> Increase our intimacy. Hmm, you know, it's so funny. I have all this wax, but uh, I keep misplacing it every week. Isn't that strange? Oh, weird. <laughs> Shucks. You know, since your wax is gone, why don't we restrain our restraint for the day? Head into the bedroom. Oh, you know what? That's okay. I actually have some. I keep an extra stash around in case somebody just really wants to ruin my party. What luck! Uh, do you need help? Yeah, you need help. No, that's really okay. No. no, just let me go inside and get a knife. I'm just gonna go use the bathroom, okay? Thanks. No, thank you! <laughs> Laundry. Oh, fuck laundry. Fucking laundry. Control. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 me totally. This is all my fault. <laughs> I mean, it, what were we thinking? It's it, online dating. Oh my god, fucking online dating. Oh, online dating. I'm sorry I killed your board. I've got so many more. Uh, you know what? Look, can you, um, I could really use a beer. Can you? You give me a beer. I promise I will, I will replace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, uh, don't worry about the tops. I will, um, I'll go get us a beer. You one, me one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no one ever calls me a fucking hippie. <laughs> You didn't even know which one was my favorite. <laughs>
In shocking news tonight, North Korea has launched nuclear weapons at the American coastline. Greetings, friends. My name is Pradeep, and today I'm here to share with you a most important message on how you can have all the things you want in your life. Love, joy, peace, riches, fame, success, and happiness can all be yours if only you learn to be yourself. You see, there are no bad people on this earth. There are no good people on this earth. There are just people being themselves, doing what is best for them. And you too can be one of these people. For just $19.95, you too can learn to be yourself and have all the happiness, riches, and success you deserve. Call today. Hello, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. This is a journey of self-discovery. At the end of this journey, you will discover your limitless potential. At the core of your potential is one simple guiding principle. Be yourself. Looking for easy to get along with roommate. Beautiful views in Hollywood Hills. $750 per month. When you are yourself, the universe will provide you with all that you need. Repeat after me. I am myself. I am myself. There is no one else like me. There is no one else like me. Now tell the universe who you are. I am an Oscar-winning actress. Again, tell the universe who you are. I am a famous Oscar-winning actress. Thank you again for joining me on this podcast. I want to remind you the universe will provide all that you need and want when you follow the guiding principle. Be yourself. I'm Maybelline. Hi. I'm so glad I saw your ad for the room for rent. This place is amazing. Look at this view. The only view I have at home is in my neighbor's backyard where he fixes cars. He's got some chickens back there too, but it's nothing like this. Wow. Well, come on in. Okay. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. It's just kale and celery. Sometimes if I'm bad, I add some lemon. Mm, I can taste that lemon, that's tart. What's the other thing? K kale. Kale. You've never heard of kale? What is kale? It's everything. <laughs> is it a meat? No, 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 it's just a superfood. It's it's a superfood. A superfood. That's cool. Oh <laughs> yeah. Gosh, you know about all that stuff, huh? Thank you. So what do you do? I am an actress, actually. Oh my God, me too! Well, I mean, that's why I moved out here, be a big movie star and all. Oh my God, that's so funny! Ah, so funny. So, do you have any acting experience? Sure don't. You know, I'm just a real lucky person, so I figured I'd just come on out and get some tryouts. Auditions. What? They're not tryouts, they're auditions. Oh, auditions. Oh my God, bless your heart. You got all the wisdom I can tell. So have you been in anything I've seen? Yeah, actually, I was a starring role in The End of the World too. Is that a TV show? No, it's a blockbuster film. Oh my god, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. <laughs> Did it come out last year? No. The year before that? No, I took that year off. The year before that? It was nine years ago. Oh. Uh... Anyway, I, I still audition all the time, so... 
Hard to get a job, huh? No, not for me. I mean, but so, like sometimes for me it is because either I'm too talented or like they think that I'm too pretty for it or all that sort of thing. But I don't let it get me down because I have this spiritual advisor that I listen to. Spiritual advisor Pradeep? Spiritual guru Pradeep! Spiritual advisor. <gasps> I listen to spiritual guru Pradeep too. I love him. Tell the universe who you are. <sighs> I'm Maybelline from Mississippi. <laughs> Okay, I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. Is there a side B? Because that's all he says on mine. No, it's just who you are isn't just where you come from. It's like how much you weigh and how tall you are. It just felt like, I felt like really connected like the entire time. And I think with Sarah, like that character just, she really lives in me. You did a, a fantastic job, so we'll see, uh, we'll see it all plays totally, out. Totally, totally yeah. understand. And I should probably get out of here. You're kidding, come on, come in for one drink. Okay, one drink. Oh, huh. hey, you're awake. <laughs> hey, I'm Maybelline. Ben. Y'all come in, come in! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what are you eating there? Nachos brain. Extra cheese. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh, what kind of meat is that? Canned. Yummy. You want some? No, God, no. <laughs> so what you do, Ben? I make movies. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Ben is a producer friend of mine who is making a movie that I'm gonna be in. <laughs> You know, I'm really looking forward to meeting the team. Yeah. I wanted to tell you earlier, but I loved that script. It's just so, it has such depth to it. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> and, 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 and that character, Sarah, I just felt like I related to her. You know, she's just so emotionally torn. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is just, it's before it's time. Well, it's just an action movie. <laughs> I love action movies. I mean, you always end up cheering, and then, like, the good guys always win, and the bad guys always lose. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. I mean, Lee's so simple. It's so cute. <laughs> I just call it like I see it. <laughs> no, no, I love that. See, nobody does that out here. You know what is else is funny is she's from Mississippi. She's a Mississippi girl. Mississippi? No fucking way. My dad is from Mississippi. Really? Where? Meridian. I got family Meridian. I try to go out there at least a couple times a year. My uncle's a high school football coach there. Oh, go, go Wildcats! Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> go Wildcats! So what, I mean, what brings you out here? Wait, let me guess, acting. Me? No. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, but I mean, Juliana, she's the pro. <laughs> she's never done an audition in her entire life. Like, she has no experience. So. No, no, nonsense. You know what? You'd be perfect for a project I'm working on. I mean, we need, uh, we need real people. We need funny people. I mean, I don't know if I could act funny. <laughs> but you know who can is me? Because this, uh, when I was on the set of the, of the End of the World Part 2, uh, there was this part where we just had to improv on set, and we had to, like, punch up the script by improv -ing. No, no, I don't want you to act at all. I mean, that's the problem with actors, they're always acting. I just want you to be yourself. Just be myself? Be yourself. Just like Freddie. Oh, yes, just like Freddie Maybelline. Just be no, I'm Maybelline, and I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> Damn right you are. Damn right you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fine. Okay, let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, here goes. Who wants a beer? Bartender's been giving me the all night. I bet I can get him for free. After what we've been through today, we deserve a few beers, right? Damn, you girls are the best. I'd do anything for y'all. I mean that. Huh, what'd you think? Nothing.
nothing. I mean, it's just, you know, uh, thing is, is that you have to stand out, you know, like you have to read between the lines, subtext. So for example, I want you to imagine that, uh, that nobody ever gets the beers. Okay. And it really pisses you off. But Maybelline, trust me on this. I've done it before. But Ben said just to be myself. Maybelline, this is Hollywood. Nobody really wants you to be yourself. Okay. Um. Who wants a beer? Bartender's been giving me the all night. Perfect. That was great. Okay, now for the next two lines, I want you to be confused and sad. Maybe I can get them for free. After what we've been through, we deserve a few beers, right? Perfect. Okay, great. And now to bring it home, I want you to act crazy. Completely crazy. I want you to act like a gorilla. Like a real gorilla? <sighs> Damn. <gasps> you girls are the best! I do anything for you! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean that! <laughs> Yes, perfect. That was perfect. Last thing, at all times when you walk in there, I want you to have some mystery behind your eyes so that you always keep them guessing. Like, who is she? What, what does she want? Where is she from? Exactly, just like that. Do it exactly like that. Now, tell the universe who you are. I am a famous Oscar-winning actress. Again, tell the universe who you are. I am a famous Oscar-winning actress. How'd it go? I don't know. I mean, I got so confused and everybody was staring at me and I didn't do any of the stuff we talked about. Oh, well, there'll be other chances. You think? Not with that casting director. <sighs> well, at least I got to meet Ben. <laughs> Honey, he's never gonna call you again. job. Ben said I did a great job. Hey, I don't know what you're getting so excited about because obviously he's just trying to be nice. You didn't do any of the stuff that we talked about, right? I was just myself. Exactly. He said he wants to have dinner. Ben wants to have dinner with me. Can't you just see that he's trying to fuck you? You're so naive. Oh shit. Oh, is he sending you dick pics now? I got the part. I got the part. part. What? I got the part! I got the part! Oh my god, spiritual project was right! I just had to be myself in the universe response! Yeah! I'm a real actress! I'm a real actress! I'm a real actress! Ah! Oh, oh Pradeep. I am a famous Oscar-winning actress. I am a famous Oscar-winning actress! I am a famous Oscar-winning actress! I am a famous Oscar-winning actress! Juliana? Juliana? Okay, no, no, no. What am I doing? I don't even care that you got this movie because it is a stupid movie that's, that's never gonna get made. Most of these things never get made. <laughs> We're shooting next month! <laughs> you don't deserve this because you just got here and you drink beer and you burp and you eat canned meat and you're dumb talented and I am an actress and I dedicated my life to this and this is my craft and I deserve this! That movie is going to fail! It's gonna be a trilogy! Yes! Who wants a beer? The bartender's been giving me the eye all night. Who wants a beer? Who... 
Who wants a beer? The bartender's been giving me the eye all night. So cute. I'm auditioning for this big studio film and I have to get it just right. That's great. Take your medicine. Who wants a beer? The bartender's been giving me the eye all night. Who wants a beer? The bartender's been giving me the eye all night. Who wants a beer? The bartender's been giving me the eye all night. Good afternoon. I come before you today to tell you the truth. I smoked crack. And according to the tape, I also had sex. I don't remember having sex. I was on drugs. I'm sure many of you have had nights that, that you don't remember, nights that, well, that you regret. And that's why Drugs are bad. Just say no. I won't be taking any questions at this time. Thank you. Good evening. Tonight, another one-on-one -on -one sit down with Mayor Carmichael. The topic, the mayor's parking lot sex scandal. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Mr. Mayor, you were caught on tape smoking crack. I, um, I told the voters the truth. That you smoked crack? Yes. And had sex with a prostitute? According to the tape. The tape does show her head in your lap. You want specifics? Yes. Mayor Carmichael, last time you were here, you claimed you had never met Brittany Cummings. Um, that's true. As I said before, I was on drugs, so I cannot remember what I did or didn't do that night or who I'd met. So that, that was the truth. I told you the truth as I knew it. Some say you have a moral obligation to step down from office. <laughs> I am being crucified for telling the truth. It was my public safety initiative that was responsible for the installation of cameras in all public parking facilities. I sacrificed my privacy for the safety of this city's citizens. <sighs> Since I've been in office, there's been a 23% reduction in crime and a 15% reduction in violent crime. Safety. But that's beside the point that... Do you mean to tell me that you're not interested in your fellow citizens' safety? No, of course I'm not saying that. Just... Our citizens deserve safety. Safety is American. And I'm a patriot. <laughs> Do you love your country, Sarah? Yes, of course I love my country. Safety. It's American. Government watching over its citizens is what makes us great. Don't you mean government watching out for its citizens is what makes us safe? If you believe in safety, vote Carmichael for mayor come this fall. I want to thank you all for joining us this evening. Good night. Good night. Wow. This rosemary chicken looks amazing. You're amazing. What? You're amazing. I know we've only been dating three weeks, but God, I feel... It's just going really well, isn't it? I know, totally. I didn't want to say, say anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you never want to... Come, come on, on too, too strong. strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Had a great time yesterday, still exhausted. Free to do it again? I mean lunch, you naughty girl. Get your mind out of the gutter, LOL.
Definitely. Same time, same place. And it's okay. I'm down to skip lunch, too. FYI, I'm trying on different lingerie. Wanna see? Yes, please. Why don't you wear it next time? And you can rip it off me. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? I'm the girl at Derek's place right now. So did you confront him? No. Why not? I don't want to give that fucker the satisfaction. I'm his fuck buddy, he's my fuck buddy. Good point. You think there are others? How do you have the time? How many times a week do you see him? Two to three. I'm at the one to two stage. Um. I mean, honestly, it's just for sex, which is totally fine with me. I'm not the relationship type. <laughs> uh, neither. <laughs> Still. Annoying to get surprised. I hate the surprise. That fucker. That fucker. Well, the least we can do is return the favor. What? Like, front him? <laughs> I'd love to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This rosemary chicken looks amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. I know we've only been dating three weeks, but God, I feel it's just going really well, isn't it? I know, totally. I feel the same way. I just didn't, didn't want to say anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you never want to come, come on, on too strong. strong. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi there, cutie. Hey. Girls. I think that's his O-face. His O-face? You know, his... Oh! 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 Face. <laughs> oh, face. <laughs> Although, you know what? Come to think of it, I was never really looking at his face. Mm, neither. He wasn't that good. Right? Kind of a letdown. At least it's cardio. <laughs> wow. <coughs> you weren't kidding. <sighs> So there's that. That fucker. Honey. Are you okay? Wait. What happened? Who are you? You passed out. Right after we shot Derek. <laughs> Rookie. It takes time. Let's try this again. I'm Kayla. And I'm Dana. And we're the other two girls that Derek was fucking behind your back. <sighs> that fucker.
Do you think people are gonna look for him? Who, like other girls? I don't know, his family? <laughs> this is bad, isn't it? It did tire me out. I know, right? I'm serious. I don't wanna go to jail. You know, it's been a long night. It has, hasn't it? Julie, why don't you grab the shovel? Good idea. Okay, I'm spent. Someone take over. Well, I killed him. That's my manual labor for the day. Fair enough. That should do it. Are you kidding me? Let's go get that body. Okay. Come on, Julie. That worked out well, right? They both fit in the same hole, two for one. Good job. Thanks. Let's go. Okay. Go inside. Do you want anything? No, I'm okay. for a while before we go back to LA? No, not at all. You know, I'm really hungry, so it might be good to order something to eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like maybe pizza? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, one pepperoni pizza. Thanks. I'm gonna go get ice. Okay. I really feel as though we've become really good friends. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, I can't believe I've only known you for three days. It feels like I've known you forever. You know, who says women can't be friends? Right. Didn't you just order pizza? Yes, it couldn't have been that fast. Who do you think it is? I don't know. Go check. What if it's the fucking cops?
Okay. I'm coming out. Frankie's Pizza. Woo. Five minutes or it's... Well, hello there, ladies. Well, that was fast. Apparently not fast enough. You're kidding, right? Come on, we got the pizza. Now just get out of here. All right, sorry. Uh, so does it warm. Hey, why do y'all got a shovel in here? In a stunning event, Mayor Carmichael has been re-elected as mayor. Good afternoon, and America. The mayor of Carmichael has Apparently, voters responded to his integrity and honesty and, and his commitment to safety. Charismatic. Words. Sarah, to you, back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Saunders. Now you're, just gonna do, now you're doing my lines. And this is Robert Richards. No, no. Stay tuned for the new hit show, I Britney's feel like you're, World. I feel like you're staring at me. I feel like you're staring at me. I'm not going to stand for that. Can I just okay. I'm, I'm not a showman. Right on my I'm not here to entertain you. Oh, that one. Well, Oh, my God. By the way, can I just really? say you did great work today. You did Get such... Get your penis out of my face. Next on Britney's World, Britney tackles your questions on healthcare. I don't understand the whole thing about Obamacare. Just use a condom. The economy. How can we make the economy better? Just buy stuff. The Middle East. 